for me, um, as a psychology professor who loves the thought of John Paul II right, and his contribution to understanding the human person, it, it is truly amazing to be able to follow his life path and to, to, to really ponder with him the nature of the human person, where he did it, right, where, he, where he did that. I decided to do this program because I really wanted to do something um, this summer. I wanted to go out of my tiny little bubble in Columbus, Ohio. I was actually really scared to come here because I didn't know a single person. You know, I don't know any Polish at all. I didn't know like who was gonna be here. I didn't know how many people were gonna be here. I didn't know anything. When I flew from Columbus to Toronto, my dad had sent me a text. Um, it was like an encouragement text. And he said, remember JP2's first words when he became Pope were, do not be afraid. I just like took that to heart. I took a few minutes to like pray about it, meditate it. And then ever since, I've not been afraid. I had so much peace. Like there was no anxiety. It was just, yes, this is supposed to happen. I've just come to love Krakow so much. Ever since I got here, I remember when I first got here, I was like, oh my gosh, am I really living here? And, and just living at the John Paul II Center where his blood is like right across the courtyard and I can just walk over to the shrine. This program is definitely a program of growth. Uh, there's an academic and intellectual side of it, but there's also a spiritual side as well. The opportunity to really confront your faith and to think about, you know, what does it mean to be a saint, and how do I walk in the path of sainthood? Because that's ultimately the goal, is to become a saint. And Poland's really good at making saints, as it turns out. Personally, it's been extremely fruitful to see how the church is truly universal. That, yeah, you're going to go to Mass every day, but you're not going to understand. And you're actually going to learn the Mass better, because they're speaking in Polish. This local church, this diocesan church in Krakow, created um, the greatness of Karol Wojtyła, John Paul II. And also one can say that this church was in large part shaped by Karol Wojtyła. It was touched by his genius. Per conoscerlo, non basta leggerlo. Documenti. Bisogna anche visitare i luoghi dove lui ha imparato, dove lui si è formato. Di questi luoghi si trovano certamente in Polonia, a Cracovia. Sono molto felice che i giovani americani vengono qui a Cracovia per studiare cultura, storia, ma anche tutto quello che ha lasciato Giovanni Paolo II, eredità di lui. Perciò i giovani americani, quello che si è già cominciato, è una bella cosa e buona cosa. Vi invito.